your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, this is kind of the back edge of the main area. Showers and even a few thunderstorms, which is running from Newton, Benton, Tippecanoe, and Boone counties now. And this is all working its way off to the northeast. So conditions will improve slowly this evening. Now you will notice a few more little showers here in Illinois. Most of these are being driven by a little cold air up in the atmosphere and also the sunshine. We've got sun out here in our southwest counties all the way into Illinois. So a lot of these will start to fade away, uh, fade away. But nonetheless, a line of storms here now exiting Jasper County, moving into Plasky County. These are not severe, but they're working their way to the northeast. Showers and thunder from Royal Center, Logansport down to Kokomo and showers, perhaps a, a rumble or two of thunder near Remington. It's raining in Fowler. Still some rain here in Lafayette down towards Frankfort, Colfax, Monroe and then southward towards Boone County, right along that I-65 corridor towards Lebanon and also Thorntown. Drying out towards Attica and also Perrysville and Pence. But in the meantime, though, you know, the sun's starting to come out a little bit as some of these rains start to get out of here. Notice a quarter of an inch of rain so far at Monticello. I've measured almost a third here at the station and almost a half an inch. Uh, Rensselaer to Remington, but two-tenths Burlington and 1,400 so far at uh, Peru. And notice the temperatures generally in the 60s area wide, though it's cooled to 60 with that rain in Remington and it's 60 right now at the station. Speaking of the sun, there it is on the horizon. There's some clouds. Uh, the clouds are starting to break up a little bit as we're looking westward towards Purdue out of downtown Lafayette. So the showers and even a few thunderstorms will come to an end. And then tomorrow and Saturday look good if you don't mind the wind. Mostly sunny skies. A very low humidity, good for the corn to dry out, also the soils to dry out so farmers can work again. We can see some wind gusts out of the west up to 35 miles an hour tomorrow and Saturday with a lot of sun. And then after a warm, stormy period briefly, turning colder. You'll see that as we get into later next week. So there are the showers, maybe a thunderstorm through 7 o'clock, 63, and then it starts to clear out slowly from southwest to northeast, 54 and partly cloudy at 11 o'clock and with clearing skies will drop into the 40s tonight. 44 Remington Fowler, 43 Pence, 45 Monticello, 46 at Rochester and highs tomorrow with all that sunshine, windy conditions, 65 to about 68, 67 Lafayette, 67 in Monticello. Notice on future cast, there go the rains pulling away. I think the clouds will pull away as well. Mostly sunny tomorrow and mostly sunny on Saturday. Even Sunday looks good. Again, it's that wind, a dry west wind, which will become southwest later Saturday into Sunday. 75 by Sunday, 74 Monday, some showers and thunderstorms late and check out the temperatures 54 on Thursday and you know Thursday night for a lot of the viewing area likely could be the first freeze of the season. We have not had our first freeze yet. 35 has been as cold as it has gotten here at the station and the airport. So maybe just next week. Yeah, get ready. Wow. All right. Chad, Thanks, thank you. Still to come this half hour, it seems to be some confusion in Libya. Let's